Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Up next on Worst Retirement Ever. I'm Phil Gunn. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years, racing all over the world. Now I'm retired, but I'm not done suffering on my bike, climbing mountains as fast as I can, and going on crazy adventures. I couldn't be the best at racing, and I'm definitely the worst at retiring. Welcome to Worst Retirement Ever. Here we are at the base of Mount Washington. The hill climb is tomorrow, 40, 50 miles from Canada. I can smell Timmy Hortons from here. Um, Ian Boswell was unable to join this weekend. He was uh, he was at SBT Gravel last weekend, and his his whole deal was he he started last and was like changing tires for people and stuff, which is awesome. But uh, but he's he's tuckered out, and we're giving him a break this weekend. Uh, he's not here, but we have we have enough calves for three because Jeremy Powers has arrived. Jeremy, how was the drive? You couldn't have thought of something better than that. No, everyone, every comment is about your calves. You have, you know, own it, dude. Look yep. at that, yeah. look at that. You oh, could I fit Ian that. Boswell's entire body and his newborn baby inside of your calves. <laughs> when we were up here, it was long. In fact, he might be in there. He... Hey, help me, let me out! Ian? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's a, it's beautiful up here. Did you see any moose? No, I didn't. But I did see a lot of great things, just no moose, unfortunately. Yeah, it's 8,000 beware of moose signs here and no moose so far, which I would say is false advertising, to be honest. Well, you don't want to find out, though. It'd be like seeing a lion. Um, as you can see, we're taking the side entrance at the hotel. The main entrance, the, the folks at the hotel told me that bikes were not allowed as I tried to enter the lobby, oh, uh, that you can't have bikes in the room, which is just, you know, someone brought like a Coachella bike and got grease all over everything. But I've learned today, Jeremy, it does not get any sympathy when you say this is a $10,000 bicycle. Really? They don't feel bad for you at all. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> and then so you just enter in the side. That's, that's what you, we're doing. That's where you, you were looking for sympathy after you told them the bike was that much. Well, I was just trying to explain why I can't leave the bicycle in their like storage room. The, uh, you'll also notice I didn't help Jeremy with his bags. I could tell I was on form for this trip because <laughs> at the Boston airport, I got on the bus thing and I, and I was trying to lift my bag onto the rack and two people came to help me. I was like, oh yeah, you must be, you must be in shape, Phil. All right, so I've done videos about my training. Uh, I'm gonna do like a separate video with my, my food, my nutrition plan for Mount Washington Climb. Uh, this is the one for the actual event. We're gonna start with the competition. The funny thing about this race is because it's kind of an individual effort, it's not very tactical, you can look at past results and really predict who's going to finish where. So this is uh, Drake Duell. What's up? Um, you're, not, you're not local, but you're kind of a New England person. I, uh, yeah, I went to school in New England, so he went to I've a, done this twice before. He went to a college you might have heard of in Cambridge. Um, and then we've got Eric, uh, who won last year with a very fast time. Uh, Drake has been warning me about you for, for several, well, weeks, because I only decided Eric's I was doing the guy this recently. To beat. Eric apparently is the guy to beat, uh, but also respect to uh, David Talbot. Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm told that he's going to go too hard too early and I then blow up. She told me that. Courtney told I me that. Um, it's good to I, be John, here. I haven't been warned about you. What should I know about John? Uh, I should be somewhere around Talbot. Him and I will uh, have a suffer fest for, um, you know, fourth or fifth place. We'll see. Okay. I love it. Um, and, and definitely can't leave out Courtney, oh. uh, who's a, a favorite for the women. I don't know where, where Amy Vassy is. We think that's she's your, your big competition. She's, she's, she's lurking. <laughs> she's lurking. <laughs> uh, so this is, these, are, these are the race favorites, I think, on, uh, on paper. Until someone shows up that we haven't heard of and, uh, and smashes all of us. But uh, thanks, folks. Yeah. And good luck tomorrow to, to all of us, results. mostly me. Yeah. yeah good luck, everybody. <laughs> good luck, yeah. <laughs> I've been to Mount Washington like five times now, and I'm always bummed that that toll house has nothing to do with cookies. Guy, you know, you don't always get your name. That's kind of, that's exclusive. You don't always get right. that. So to get your name on the number like this, I'm going to take a picture oh, of that's it. that's pro. Mine just says, I'm here with Jeremy. It does? That's what they put on mine. Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's race morning. Um, I'm sitting on the bed in the hotel. I've got my various uh, liquids and creams. That, that are required for a race day. Uh, I'm gonna go warm up and get my stuff together and try to focus. So uh, I'm gonna hand the camera over to Jeremy. So the, the race people are gonna film the the race thing and hopefully they get enough and we'll edit it together and see what happens. Um, and then, uh, but I'll see you at the top and I'm gonna let Jeremy take over from here and, uh, and share his day. So there you go, buddy. How do I look in this thing? Oh, looking good.
No, you look great. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Uh, it looks great. It's going to be away. Yeah. No, it's... Uh, uh, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, uh, we're here in the garage with a little ice wrap. The spoiler is already out on that one from the from before the intro. So we have some footage from the race organizers where I'll do the play-by-play -play in the garage. But I don't think I did this event right. I don't think you're supposed to race an event like this. I think the, the real folks doing this are the ones who take their time, who enjoy the view. Uh, and for that, we have Jeremy Power. So we're going to cut between the race footage and then Jeremy uh, enjoying his day and meeting people on the climb. So what we have here is a tale of two Mount Washingtons, Mounts Washington, a tale of two Mounts Washington. And there will be some crowdsourced. There's, there's many angles of crowdsourced videos from the finish. Um, I looked at my, my power file from 2017 when I, when I won the event. I got to the bottom and I went really hard until I cracked everyone behind me. And then I rode to the finish as, as hard as I could but the power file, it was like 400 watts for the first five minutes, and the whole thing, I averaged 350. Uh, so that is how to not pace a thing. Um, on, on a 12% gradient, there's, no, there's really no tactics. I think it's a time trial, and, and all you can do is just go as hard as you can and hope that, that everyone cracks behind you. Yeah, I got you, I got you. This is, this is the time, come on. How's it going? Jeremy, nice no, to meet you. Did you get to meet my Drake? dad? Yeah, I did, yeah. Because most people were coming over here dying for something with Phil, but right before his race, I'm having him pin my number. Uh, because I, I pinned it wrong. Chrome <laughs> There was an attack at mile one, Ben Talbot uh, launched, and he, he had a lead of about between 10 and 30 seconds. Uh, we caught him around mile two or three, uh, and, and that was the first time I looked back. So really for the first 30 minutes, uh, Eric was, was just directly glued behind me. Um, and my, my instinct as a bike racer is don't let someone sit on your wheel, uh, swerve off, flick your elbow, attack, and I, I, I know from experience of this event, uh, all that does is slow down your pace and, and distract you and mess up your effort. I, mean, I wasn't giving him any assistance draft-wise. I wonder how the first part went for Jeremy. You, gotta, you guys gotta see this. He said one hill, one gear, and that's it. I've got like every gear you could know, but he's just got one. I actually got two. Oh, you do? Stand up and sit down. Stand up and sit down, okay, pro. Gotcha. Fuji. Old Tamara with the I Love Cookies bottle on it. Oh yeah. How we feel? Where are we from? Good. From Maryland. Just trying to make it to the top. Is this your first time doing this? Yep. What inspired you to come out here? Uh, was it Phil's video? <laughs> um, and also just, I mean, it's an epic climb. I don't have right. to do it. All right, all right, all right. Punch it out. Punch the camera out. All right. Okay, perfect. So up to this point, uh, I was feeling very good. I was really happy with my legs. I was, I was doing 370, 375, uh, a very consistent effort. Um, and, and I'll be honest, I kind of thought I had it in the bag. I was on pace for a very fast time. Uh, I, I thought I would go a little bit faster than Eric had in the past. He was, his best time was in the 52s. I thought I was going to be in the 51s. Uh, and he threw me for a loop. All of a sudden, uh, at minute 32, I, I was looking by time more than distance, but uh, he accelerated a little bit and came off my wheel and just got a gap on me. And if we attacked back and forth, what I knew is that Drake Duel was very close behind us, somewhere, ready to pounce. On a steep gradient, Eric and I are a little bit smaller, we have a little advantage on Drake, uh, but Drake has been a, a KOM rival for me in, in LA. Uh, we do the group rides together, I know how strong he is. Um, I knew that he was gonna do the perfect ride for himself, and, and if either of us blew up, uh, we'd be in danger of coming in third. I can only hope that Jeremy is enjoying the race as much as I am. I hear the breathing back here. These guys are definitely going hard. Hey, baby. No, no. Uh, How we doing? No, what is your guy's name? That's the most important part. Fred. John. John. All right. From Ohio. All right, all right. I like your brakes. Thanks, man. <laughs> Should have taken the rear one off. It's like one second worth of effort. Yeah. All right, get it. Have fun. 
Now, when Eric went, there's still, obviously, there's 20 minutes left in the race. There's a couple miles. There's, I know there's crazy steep gradients. Um, I, I made the conscious decision, again, to not, not change my effort, uh, to stick at the, at the 370 watts I was doing. And, and basically, all I could do, if he could hold the pace that he just surged, uh, I was done for and he was going to win. He deserved it. Um, I, I just had to hope that he faded a little bit and that I'd be able to lift a little bit in those last 15 minutes. So I continued to ride my pace and, and stayed about 10 seconds behind Eric. I didn't see the view at all. Uh, perhaps Jeremy was able to take it in. Well, Phil's going hard. I just stopped and put my head in a river off the side. But look how beautiful this is. I don't know if the GoPro's even going to do it justice, but it's like pretty cool. How we doing back there, boys? Woo! All right, all right. That's what we like to hear. How we doing up there? Okay, okay great. The guy back there was taunting me. He had a, a jar of peanut butter. And I said, I'm going to come and take a couple spoonfuls of that. And he said, I put the jelly right into it and mixed it up before I came up here. That is a, that's a hell of an idea. I so with about a mile and a half to go, uh, I did have a little bit of gas in the tank. I was able to lift just a little bit. I caught up to Eric on one of the steeper sections and basically just kind of went right around him to continue dictating the pace, knowing that I need to save some for the final stretch. The, the last bit is over 20%. You can hear the cowbells from around the corner. Uh, I knew from my, my Wahoo, the, the live segment, that we were coming up to the finish um, and, and the kick was gonna come. Uh, right when we got to, I think it's like 300 meters to go. It's very close. This is a fact. I, I won, I won a, about 100 bike races, mostly like Criterium's local races in Florida. Um, never did I win a race in a sprint. If there was one person with me, I came second. Uh, and this would be the closest that I've come to a sprint victory. Let's see what Jeremy's up to. You guys got to see the road here. Look, it's bumpy because of all the, all the snow cats going up and down this thing, so that's how you know you're getting to the top. But look at it out there. Whew. It's beautiful. But we're just above the tree line now, and yeah, I was not looking at the altitude for my own health. Then it said like 4,000. Not oh, rats. All right. I could barely talk. That guy had to pull off. He was, he was hurting. This is, look how steep this thing is. Gosh, thanks. All right. Jamie Driscoll's out here with us in Spear. Here he is. Here he got the rally with the rally kit with the, whoo, second cyclocross bike we've seen out here. What the? I did the build myself, so it's only the frame is original. Looking pro, though. Looking pro. Appreciate the first class, man. Hey, okay. So in the last kick, um, I put five bike lengths on Eric. Uh, and at that point, there's no, there's no tactics. You're not sprinting. You're just trying to get up the last bit um, and squeeze every bit of energy out of yourself. Jeremy kept it upright when he crossed the line. Wow. It's steep now. I gotta go. Wow, look at all these people. Ooh. Okay, I gotta go. And part of the thing that's cool about this event is there's folks who like aren't pros who don't dork out on their bikes who just train their best and uh there's people who it takes them three hours two hours three hours to get up this and the crowd cheers them just the same uh and to me like getting up this in two hours is is arguably harder than getting up it <laughs> in 50 minutes because you're climbing for so long hang on wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute your bicycle's missing a wheel yeah Incredible. Nice job. What's your name? Thanks. Leo. Leo. You're, yeah. that's, I can't even, I got no words. <laughs> so at the top, there's like a little dining hall thing and, and gift shop, or Courtney's in with us. Winner of the, the women's race, uh, give us a, a recap, play by play. 
recap. It got pretty windy at the top, but I knew I was in for it uh, yeah. with about two miles to go. I learned my lesson from Phil last night that uh, he didn't want to tell me my gearing was trash. She told me what she had for gearing, and I knew it was not going to, I mean, it's not ideal, but I, I was like, it's, 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 it was going to be rough. So, so I didn't I'm getting my, my Mount Washington box for next year. Congrats. Thanks. Thanks, guys. It's all those hippies who fight this in the bare feet. <laughs> I found Jeremy. Jeremy, how was it for you? It was great. We talked to a lot of people out there. We had a great ride, and it I can't was wait to watch your footage. Yes, my footage is my footage is classic. But dude, no, look at this. How insane is this, this is, thing that we are? Like, is, how cool is everybody's family and yeah, kids hollering? Yeah, and yeah it's people amazing. People came up in these mountains. I'll get a better shot of the mountains. Yeah, I'll I got a lot of shots. I was going a little slower. Okay, okay. So I, I got some nice shots. All right, so we got Jeremy's in charge of the B-roll. The car's right. The, I always forget. I've done this a few times. I always forget what an absolute mess it is to get out of here. Oh yeah. Uh, when you sign up for Mount Washington, they're very clear that you may not uh, ride the bicycle down. And on paper, that's super lame. And then you get up here and you're like, oh, thank God I don't have to ride down. Also, I took my brake off. Because one wrong turn, that's a steep that's a steep drop. Sorry, and shout out to Drake Duel's dad for driving the car up so that I could drive it down. Uh, Drake came in third today. So a little, little LA Strava rivalry. Uh, I, I came out on top in the hill climb and he has all my k -limbs. You know what's crazy is that you see the trees, how they're just, they're just, one side of them is just completely... Yeah, that's how nasty the wind is up here. Yeah. It gets real up here. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Just the trees are just blown in a direction. It's very Belgian of them. You get a nice Christmas tree up here. If they wanted to, like, clean things up, you know, it would be like a thing to have a, to have a Mount Washington Christmas tree. Think about the kind of money you could make from that. Drive around in New England, every car has a sticker. They give it to you for free when you drive up here. Um, I will not be putting it on the rental car. If I was a rental car company up here, I would have like, don't climb Mount Washington, like in the terms. So do not tell uh, Thrifty what we're up to in this uh, in this lovely Kia. I'm just burning up your battery and your car here, just keeping it going. No, no, I'm just gonna keep it going. No, I'm gonna keep it going. That's how Sam got all the good footage from behind the barriers. You think that it was because he turned the camera off? Because he left it on. No, we, no we left the camera on. What? Don't turn it off, I don't wanna end all that. <laughs> I don't have a Sam to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I will drive right. I'm loving this shit. <laughs> all the good stuff. All the good stuff comes on. Doesn't happen when you turn the camera off. No, this is not good. No, this is good. You can hear them unsubscribe. No, <laughs> this is good. That's why you have to edit. Those people are listening to the signs on the sides of the road. They're letting their brakes cool. This person is too. Mm. Got free listeners. Here's, are you filming this? Yeah, I'm filming. You do, how do I put it in park? You gotta turn it to, you gotta push it to the uh, to the side. Oh. Okay. Oh yes. All right, there we go. Oh yeah. That's what we needed. If you don't end a ride in New Hampshire or Vermont or the top part of New England like this, then you're just doing it wrong. I don't know what Phil's doing, but here he comes. All right, so this seems like as good of a place as any to end it with my mouth full. Uh, we're sitting in a creek. There's a nice little festival turkey lunch. Um, Jeremy, thank you so much for, for joining. Oh. And Jeremy's it's good to have like New England royalty at a bike race, you know? Like, I already have good cred at a hill climb, but you raised my cred. We're at max cred at the we, moment. You know, we do what we can, Phil. Mm -hmm. We do what we can. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day. It was a beautiful race, a beautiful event. You won, so how could anything be wrong? We can, like, it's a perfect day. Yeah, I could always find something to complain about. No, no, don't like, do that. We're icing my knee because of the <laughs> Everything's great. Everything's this great. This is how you it. end a proper New England ride. I said this already, but mm -hmm. you don't want to mess this up. If, you, if you come to north, like n northern part of New England, and even in Massachusetts, can I get a little harder? You got to go in the ocean. But like, this is proper way to end a New England ride here, just with your legs in a cold river.
All right, we're just gonna we'll leave it on there for a second. Don't talk for a second. I know it's hard. All right, peace.